All right, so we are just a few hours away from India's union budget being read out on the floor of the parliament by India's finance minister, Nirmala Sitaraman. So there is a lot of anticipation in the air. What will be announced? And this, this of course, is going to be very interesting. We've been speaking to a lot of experts to get a sense of that. Gautam Chikarmane is the vice president of ORF from New Delhi. We spoke to him earlier where we asked him what he expected from this budget. The time for a budget to deliver expectations or, have, or for us to have any expectations from a budget is over. It's behind us. I expect nothing from this budget. Uh, now, there are many economists with many ideas. But even if Nirmala Sita Raman takes all of them and offers them in budget 2020, nothing is going to happen in the short term. That time is behind us. Let's see what she can do. First, she has to decide if she wants to breach the fiscal deficit target. I believe she does, but there are other economists who believe she doesn't. Let's say she does. Then we come to the second point. How does she propose to spend that money? If it is going to be more wealth redistribution schemes, we are done. That's the end of growth. If it is infrastructure, that may deliver growth in the medium to long term. Finally, we come to the third point. Where will this money come from? Higher taxes? In a slowing economy, that's economic suicide. Disinvestments? That's a good idea and I think they have put some targets out there and they have put PSUs on the line. But uh, what happens next year? And third, borrowings, which will lead to inflation, which is food inflation is already beginning to rise. So whatever she does, it will not change anything in the short term other than the Sensex. It may rise 500 or 1000 points. But to the real economy, uh, the impact of a budget is going to be very little. So what should she do? What I suggest is she should take a medium term view, allow the budget to balance the expenditure and the revenue, but keep all other policy announcements, keeping an impact factor of about 12 to 18 months in mind. This is the time that any entrepreneur would need to create a new business or expand its capacity. She should work along with other economic ministries uh, to, to get this done. Um, credit flows need special attention and I'm sure uh, she is working closely with the with RBI to ensure that these problems are resolved. As far as tinkering is concerned, she should do to individual direct taxes what she has done to corporate taxes, which is reduce the taxes sharply, but remove all exemptions and deductions.